In this video, we will do three College Board multiple choice questions pertaining to logarithmic expressions. This is AP Precalculus Topic 2.9. If you appreciate this content, please give it a like. Example 1, which is calculator active. The Richter scale is a numerical scale that uses base 10 logarithms for measuring an earthquake's magnitude. The larger the number, the more intense the earthquake. For example, an earthquake with magnitude 5.0 is 10 times more intense than an earthquake with magnitude 4.0. Two well-known earthquakes occurred in the year 1906. The San Francisco earthquake had a magnitude of 7.9 and the Chile earthquake had a magnitude of 8.2. Approximately how many times more intense was the Chile earthquake than the San Francisco earthquake? The San Francisco earthquake had a magnitude of 7.9 on the Richter scale, which corresponds to 10 to the 7.9 power on a non-logarithmic scale. The Chile earthquake had a magnitude of 8.2 on the Richter scale, which corresponds to 10 to the 8.2 power on a non-logarithmic scale. Quick side lesson. Consider number A, which is 20 and number B, which is 4. If I wanted to figure out how many times bigger number A is than number B, I would divide. 20 divided by 4 is 5, which tells me that number A is 5 times bigger than number B. If we divide the larger magnitude by the smaller magnitude, it will tell us how many times bigger the magnitude of the Chile earthquake was. Time for the calculator. It won't make a difference on this problem, but I recommend always using a vertical fraction instead of just hitting the division sign. You can make a vertical fraction by doing alpha y equals enter. Or if your software is up to date, you can just hit alpha x. So give that a try. Anyway, we need 10 to the 8.2 power. So we do 10 to the 8.2 power divided by 10 to the 7.9 power. One point nine nine five two is closest to two point zero, so the answer is C. Number two, if m equals log base three of eighty one, which of the following is also true? We can rewrite this logarithmic equation in exponential form by dropping a base 3 on both sides of the equation. This is called exponentiating both sides of the equation because we have now made both sides into the exponents of these 3's. On the right hand side, the base 3 and the log base 3 cancel each other out, leaving behind the 81. On the left side, we still have 3 to the m power. This is a perfect match for option B. Number three, the sales of a new product in items per month is modeled by the expression 225 plus 500 log base 10 of 15 T plus 10, where T represents the time since the product became available for purchase in months. What is the number of items sold per month for time T equals six? So they are just asking us to evaluate this expression for t equals 6. Substituting 6 for t gives us this. Notice this problem is not calculator active, so everything we do, we need to do without a calculator. Also, we didn't have to put this base 10. This is the common log. So if I erase the 10, it would be understood, but I'm going to leave it. First, we have to do 15 times 6, which uh, you might be able to just do in your head. 45 years ago, when I was in elementary school, they taught me an algorithm where I would do 6 times 5, and that would be 30, and I would put the little 3 up here, and I would put the 0 down here, and then 6 times 1 is 6, plus 3 is 9, so I would get 90. I'm betting they don't teach it that way in school anymore. Here's another way. 15 times 6 is the same thing as 15 times 2 times 3. 15 times 2 is 30. So now we have 30 times 3, which is 90. 
Inside the logarithm, I have now 90 plus 10, so that's 100. So now we have this. Quick side lesson. The value of a log expression is the exponent that turns the first number into the second number. So what's the value of this expression? That's going to be 2, because 7 to the second power is 49. What about the next one? What exponent turns a 2 into 16? That's 4. That's the value of this log expression. What's the value of the last log expression? That's going to be 3, because 3 to the third power is 27. What's the value of log base 10 of 100? Well, 10 to the second power is 100, so the value of the expression is 2. 500 times 2 is 1,000, so this is going to be 225 plus 1,000, which of course equals 1,225. That's why the answer is B. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, but also if you found this video helpful, there's a lot more where that came from. You can click the upper link, which will take you to the whole unit playlist, or you can click the lower link, which will take you to the next video in the playlist. See you there.